started realizing that this was the reason why I was living what I was living. And once I took control of this, bro, I'm literally living the life of my dreams. And this is why I'm on here telling you this so you can start living the life of your dreams. Literally. <laughs> What's up, Alchemist gang? It's your boy, Kale, and I'm back again with another banger video for y'all. And I really hope y'all been taking care of yourself, saying your affirmation, doing your meditation, doing what you gotta do to take care of yourself because you do remember you're a spiritual being having a temporary human experience, right? For sure, for sure, how to make sure you know. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe so you never miss another banger upload from me. We do spiritual content over here, Q and A's, vlogs, public interviews, just anything you think of. This is a pretty versatile channel. You can't put me in a box because I'm outside of here, okay? Um, yeah, I think about the title today. I'm doing a QA. I posted some on my snap, my IG for y'all to slide up and answer some questions, anything y'all had. And y'all stood up and I got a pretty good amount of questions. So I'm going to be answering those questions for y'all. So let's get into it. Number one is, what would your interest theme song be? Hmm, my interest theme song. I don't know if you mean like just in any type of situation, but I don't know. Off the top of my head, I just think of like Rags to Riches by Rod Way. I don't know. Like, like Rags to Riches. Project feature to live in. Hold on. Hey, 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 big, big. But, um, <laughs> yeah, Rags to Riches is probably my theme song if I would have come in. I don't know. That shit do go hard because, you know, I really came from Rags to Riches. So, they, that bitch would really be my theme song. I ain't gonna lie. What are five things you would bring to a, des a desert island? Uh. Five things I'll bring to a desert island. Um, definitely water, spring water, uh, sp specifically. Spring water. I would bring my journal so I can manifest all the fuck I'm on the island so I can manifest me some good shit on that damn island. Um, my definitely my singing, but I need some form of cleanse. Um, I mean, if I'm on an island, I guess I guess I'll be cl getting cleansed by the ocean. Because if you didn't know, the ocean cleanses your emotional body, your spiritual body, and your physical body. When you get in the ocean, I don't know why. It's, uh, it's just something. And I always wonder, isn't what wouldn't ocean water be moon water since the moon is like when the moon is like a full moon, it's reflected in the ocean water. Wouldn't it be moon water? I don't know, but uh, yeah. I'll also bring. I would bring. Hmm. I'll bring. I'll bring crystals. I know that's pretty like absurd, but I would definitely bring crystals because they definitely are great tools to help me heighten all of my intentions for anything I'm trying to do spiritually on that damn desert island. So I'll definitely bring my crystals. And I'll bring any organic foods I can get. Any organic food I'll bring because I don't know how long I'll be able to last by eating the foods that are on the damn island, but I would definitely bring some organic foods as much as possible because Organic foods is healthy, and I'll be I'll be able to function off that. I just couldn't fast, bro. Like, people that fast, kudos to you, bro. Because when I try to fast, bro, I literally cannot function without anything in my body, bro. I cannot function at all with at least some food in my damn body. So those would be the five things I'd bring to this island if I were on one. If you could be anywhere in the world right now, where would you be? If I could be anywhere in the world right now, I would probably be in Hawaii or or... Texas. I don't know. Hawaii or Texas. Hawaii is just amazing. I've always wanted to go to Hawaii. It just seems so like peaceful and blissful. And Texas, Texas is Texas looks fun. Texas just looks pure fun, bro. It just looks like it's great vibes. You know, it's warm down there. It's I mean, it's pretty warm down here, but I know it's hot down there. I should use the word term hot in Houston. And there's a lot of baddies down there. There's a lot of there's a lot going on in Houston. You know what I mean? I would like to be in Houston right now. It'd be a perfect opportunity for my channel to get out there. You feel me? I would love to be in Houston. I ain't gonna lie. What's your favorite sign? Good question. Um, what's my favorite zodiac sign? I want to say Pisces, but that would be a little contradicting or bias. That would be biased because my I'm a, I'm a Pisces. So if it's not if I'm not gonna say Pisces, I would definitely have to say Sagittarius, even though that's my ascendant. I just click really well with Sagittarius. I really like Sagittarius. If it's not Sag, then it's probably an Aries or a Leo. I don't know. I can't really choose my favorite sign because I do have, like, I click well with Aries, Leos, and Sages. Wait a minute. <laughs> They're all fire signs. I just mentioned all fire signs. I guess I click really well with fire signs. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sagittarius, they're all fire signs. I guess I just click pretty well with all of them. So I, if I had to pick out of those three, though, it would probably have to be... Aries, 
It probably has to be Aries, because I fuck, I fuck with Aries. That motherfucker's cool. What's the first thing that you notice about a girl? Okay, the first thing I notice about a girl, it, it would have to be either these two things. Her smile or her personality. If I'm not talking to her and you mean by just like first glance, it would have to be her smile. It would, it would have to be her smile or her energy, bro, because like that's what I notice about pretty much almost every woman nowadays, I've noticed. Usually, it would used to be, of course, the body, of course, but that's secondary. I literally pay attention to the smile and the energy because you can literally, or the eyes, literally, oh, the, the eyes or the fucking teeth, bro. The eyes are the gateway to the soul. So, like, I always like looking in the female's eyes. You can tell if she's confident or what she's about, what she's talking about most of the time, only most of the time because I'm able to read people. A little bit now, but I know it's gonna be even more crazier the more I get into the spiritual shit. So like, but I've been reading people pretty well. So honestly, I I, I go for like her, her first thing I notice is her eyes, teeth, or her energy. Those three is what I really really notice about females. And then of course I notice the body. Of course I always look at the body. Come on, now. us guys we 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 look at females for their physical attributes most of the time, and women pertain to go more for how the guys make them feel. So you know. Um, what made you want to start a YouTube channel? Honestly, bro, that's a good question. It was a spontaneous thing. Like I was such, I was like, I would do vlogs and shit. Like I would like have my phone, I would vlog. I would just do like vlogs and post them on my private story on Snapchat and stuff like that. And people like a few, like people was just live like, yeah, you should start YouTube, bro. Like you, you, you do you YouTube, YouTube. <laughs> Bro, I can't even spit it out. People like, do you do YouTube? You should do YouTube, you know? You, you just vlog and shit, da, da, da. And of course, I've thought about it before. I just wasn't like, there were so many like subconscious negative things that were keeping me from doing it. I just made so many excuses for myself. And it came, it went from me having a vlog private to me just having it. Just, I created a YouTube channel. I made a video about, I can't remember my first video, but I think it was about like vibrations or something like that. And, and people were really fucking with it. And I didn't know, at first I wanted my channel to be about just spirituality because I just didn't know where I wanted to take it. But now I feel myself stepping outside the box because I'm a pretty versatile person. I can't just do one thing and I don't feel like creating a whole other channel for this. So like, I just do it all on here and whoever rocks me, you rock me and I love you. What are your plans this weekend? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know, but I know this is Monday while I'm recording this video and I know that my last week, this past weekend was crazy. Don't even want to say what happened. Just know I got the treatment. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> What's your biggest turnoff? Mm. My biggest turnoff. Mm -hmm. My biggest turnoff is a woman who can't compromise or listen. A woman that cannot like listen to to me like, bro, that's that's such a big ass turnoff, bro. Because I mean, there's not a lot of things a woman can do to turn. I mean, there is, but like, I'm a pretty understanding person for the most part. But if you cannot listen, bro. Oh my fucking gosh, that's such a turn off, bro. Like, or if she's just so obnoxiously like out of herself. A woman that's a woman that is that does too much and who doesn't listen. Those are my two biggest turn off. Like, why are you doing all that? You know what I mean? Like, why are you doing all that? And why are you not listening? I don't mean you got. I, I ain't trying to act like your daddy, but at least you can be. You can compromise with it, nigga. You know what I mean? Like, females that don't listen and who just do the most. Is my biggest turn off, bro. Because the thing is, bro, it's a blessing and a curse to be able to read people. Because sometimes I just notice, like, some of the close people to me, I just be feeling that I have to call out the flaws. Because, like, bro, what the fuck? That's off topic. But, like, literally, like, I just read females and, like, that. that's, like, my biggest turn off. I hate that shit. Your biggest regret. Hmm. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't have any regrets. Because, like, I've learned. I used to have a lot of regrets, though. I, had to, I used to have a lot of regrets. Because, I don't know. I used, to have a, I used to beat myself up a lot. Like, and mentally, like, about anything, any situation, bro, I feel like that's a normal human thing, but I know I just do it a lot. I still sometimes do it nowadays, but honestly, I don't really have any regrets anymore because, like, I've come to realize everything happened for a reason. Everything I did was a past version of me, which is, I couldn't have changed that because that's who I was at that time. I made that decision because I was a totally different person, 11-11. I was a totally different person, so um, I definitely got to say... I don't really regret anything I did. I know I did some shit in the past that I probably am not happy about, but I don't regret it because it definitely have made me to who I am today. A hundred percent. Your biggest pet peeve. Hmm. My biggest pet peeve. My biggest pet peeve is a motherfucker who can't be themselves. Because I'm so good at... I can see right through your shit. So, like, I just... My biggest pet peeve is people that just do not... Like, the people that are, like... People that do... Do stuff because of other people. They do stuff because they think other people are going to give them validation. Or they do things out of 
out of the hope of a, a outcome from a, something from something external from them instead of it just doing it out of a genuine heart. Like, let me see. Mm, fucking going around bragging that you fucking uh that you gave a homeless man a hundred dollars. Like, why are you going around telling people that you gave? Like, who? Like, one, like, who cares? And two, like, that's not really a kind gender act because now you're going to tell people about it. So it's not even like a, you know what I mean? It's just like you did it because you want to get some validation or some shit like that. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, I can't really explain what I'm trying to say, but it's like my biggest pet peeve. Like, I can see fakeness from a mile away. And when you have that fakeness, bro, I just like, it's my biggest pet peeve because it's weird, bro. It's just weird to me. Your greatest sexual fear. Hmm. That's a good question. My greatest sexual fear... But my greatest sexual fear is probably just getting a bitch pregnant, bro. When I'm not, when I'm not ready to. That's my, like my greatest sexual fear. Or getting like tagged. When I, when not like, if I get tagged, like getting tagged, if you know what that means, you know, if you know, you know. You know what I mean? Uh, like a girl tell you that she, she's good and then she end up not being good. You know what I mean? Like, those are one of my, that was one of my biggest fears growing up. Before I even started getting sexually active, like, I used to always worry about that. I was like, what if one day this happens? And, and I'm not even going to say because I'm not trying to manifest it, but like, bro, like, that has been my greatest sexual fear, bro. I would just hate, like, I would hate if I got burnt or tagged and I just, and I didn't know, and it just fucked up my whole sex life. I, I, I've always worried about that. So, like, I just hope it don't happen. I know it's not going to happen, okay? Because I don't know if you should be out here. Mm -hmm. All the time. <laughs> but yeah. What inspires you on the daily to continue growing spiritually? And do you believe that once you get to a certain point of spirituality, spirituality that you can no longer evolve? Good question. What? All right. What inspires you on the daily to keep growing spiritually? What really, really, really pushes me to keep growing spiritually is the is the results and benefits I keep seeing every day. The, I, every day I see more angel numbers, more synchronicities, more reasons to keep getting up and getting on my shit because I keep seeing my manifestations coming true. All these different events that's happening in my life. Everything that's in my life right now is something I once previously wanted. Everything I, in my life I wanted at one point and I have it now. And it's literally crazy as hell, bro. It's crazy that I have everything that I wanted now. And it's all because I, I went within myself and I manifest my reality. I started realizing that this was the reason why I was living what I was living. And once I took control of this, bro, I'm literally living the life of my dreams. And this is why I'm on here telling you this so you can start living the life of your dreams. Literally. Um, and do you believe that once you get to a certain point of spirituality that you no longer evolve? No. Good question, though. Once you get to those, there is not, like, the thing about I learned about spirituality is a never-ending journey. It's a lifelong journey. Everyone has different stages. There, there are different stages of the spiritual journey, but I don't feel like you, I don't feel like you get to a stage and stop. I don't find that's how it works. Evolution is evolve. We're the universe. We're infinite beings. Infinite. Infinite beings. So we're constantly growing and changing and evolving. Even the most person that reached enlightenment still has more growing to do spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. We all have different, just different levels to this shit. It's just higher dimensional levels to growing spiritually. That's the cool thing about spirituality because it doesn't have a... It, you can't place spirituality in a box. It's more of a concept of what you do because everyone's spiritual journey is different. Everyone it gets to a certain point in their spiritual journey a different way. So it's just like you can't really describe it. But all I can say is there is no... It doesn't never stop. That's the cool part. It's like you constantly can keep searching in for more and more and more. And like the thing is, you may, and right when you think you know it, you don't. You just, right when you think you evolved, or I mean, right when you, right when you think you do, like you figure the spirituality shit out, 100%, there's just more shit to learn. Like every single time. And it just makes you more excited and intrigued to learn more. Because not only are you learning more about the universe, you're learning more about yourself because you are the universe. Universe, universe. You are the, you are a physical manifestation of God. You're a co-creator of your own reality. What made you want to be more, what made you want to be more spiritual like Christmas and shit, if that makes sense? Um, Honestly, I was at one point in my life where I just didn't have nobody, didn't have anything. And I feel like I just was, I, I don't know, I I, was, I wasn't forced, but I just, I don't know really how I stumbled upon it. It was like, it led from one video to another video to some more research to more research. To, and then it led to crystals and then it just got deeper. Crystals was my first like spiritual tool that I found out about. I started reading up on them, what they do and their benefits. And I started trying them and they actually started to work. So then that's when I started to actually, you know, start doing it. And once I started doing it, my soul started to evolve and eventually I started YouTube because I evolved into my purpose, which is being here on YouTube, spreading the word for y'all. Honestly, it, it, it was like, a, it, it was like a, I was at a point in my life, I was at the lowest point in my life I had got broken up with. I was going through a heartbreak, I had a near death experience and it was just so much mentally that was trying to fuck me up that I just, I had to search for something. 
And it was just me, God, me and God, me and myself. And I eventually just became who I am right now. What do you think your plan after high school is? And how are you going to go through with that plan to make sure it happens? Um, Honestly, my plan after high school is to really be successful at this YouTube shit just to go crazy and we take it full, full scale. And honestly, what's what I'm doing right now is going to help me is literally staying consistent right now, being committed right now. Doing the work now so in the future I can reap these benefits and I can be chilling, bro. I'm telling you, bro, the work you do now, you'll be happy you did. Because a year from now, you're going to, on this day, you're going to be like, damn, what if I started today? I would have been good. You know what I mean? Like, think about it. If you started last year on this day of doing what you wanted to do, just imagine how far you would have been in that endeavor. You you get what I'm trying to say? So, honestly, my plan is to be very successful on YouTube or just be my own businessman, be an entrepreneur, make my own money. I do not want to be working for anyone. I want to be the one doing the hiring and firing, not me getting hired or fucking fired. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm gonna go through with it. How I'm gonna go through it? I'm gonna stay consistent. I'm gonna stay committed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that tunnel vision, no matter what. You know what I mean? That's just, that's exactly how I'm gonna do it. The only way I can do it if I believe in myself and I have faith. Only way. Uh, Donda or CLB? Honestly, CLB. Donda's okay. I only like a few songs on that bitch. But CLB by Drake is fucking fire. What is that song called? Champagne Poetry. That shit bang, boy. Especially on the late night drive. That shit is a total different vibe. <laughs> and um. Have sex to that song, Bang, too. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> hey, Crispy Life or YSR? Ooh, that's a good question. Crispy Life or YSR? You mean like the YSR group or YSR Graham specifically? Honestly, I would have to say Crispy Life because I think that there is somebody else in YSR. I don't know if you mean by the group because the only, only person I really fucking YSR is literally uh, YSR Graham. I don't know if there's like anybody else with him in that group, but like YSR Graham goes fucking crazy, but. I'm gonna have to pick Chris for life. Was Chris for life go? He been going dumb since the beginning, talking in code, uh, arguing. He just he, he been going crazy. Chris for life. Do you think Za changed your life for the better or the worst? Do I think we changed my life for the better or the worst? Honestly, both. I've been on both ends and spectrums of weed, and it's definitely changed my perspective on myself and reality because weed it would definitely i was so heavily addicted to weed and it was controlling my life so much to the point where my whole mindset on things were different i wouldn't even i i used to smoke so much weed i used to be so addicted to weed that i couldn't see myself dating a girl that doesn't smoke weed i would have to have a girlfriend that smokes weed otherwise it would just wouldn't work but now i can i can date a damn girl that doesn't smoke weed and it'd be perfectly fine i don't need a girlfriend that doesn't smoke weed because now i don't need to smoke weed anymore I can't even remember. The, I, I don't smoke weed as much as I used to anymore. Now that school started and I got this job, like, I just have not smoked a lot. Like my tolerance is so low now. It's crazy. It's a, I'm a whole different person. I'm not even addicted to weed anymore. Weed doesn't even control me anymore, which is it's, it's amazing. But honestly, it's changed my life for the better because I would have to say the better, not the worse, because weed definitely, once I stopped it, it made me change my perspective on it and all my perspective on life. And then when I start smoking again, now I can smoke whenever I want to, not when I need to. So I can definitely say Zah has definitely bettered my life. But also for anybody, I, I got to say that weed affects everyone differently. Weed 100% affects everyone differently. It definitely changed my perspective on myself and how I look at how I take care of situations. You know what I mean? It definitely you know, I built my self-discipline up and my uh, confidence because I've, once you complete some shit for yourself, you do some great for yourself and you that you didn't think you could do, you get confidence, bro. That's how you, bang, that's how you gain confidence by stepping out of your comfort zone. The only thing that you are scared to do that you don't think you can do. It builds confidence, it builds self-discipline, and it builds courage. And I gotta say, I, I got all that from from stopping weed for like a couple of weeks. And then now, all I took was a couple weeks off and then I started smoking again and now I'm good. I don't even, I, I rarely smoke. I, I, go, I go whole days without smoking now. Like I never would do that. Like It's crazy. Like I went all day with, wait, I went all day yesterday without smoking weed, bro. All day yesterday and probably the whole day before that. I just don't be remembering no more. I don't get blown. And if I do smoke, it'll be like once a day on some like random shit with some bro or some or my bro or some shit. I just don't never feel the need to smoke anymore. Cause like, it's just like, I'm so, my mind's so focused on being successful and getting shit done and getting all the support and shit done for my life, school, YouTube, um, stepping to my power, growing myself mentally, spiritually, emotionally, that weed is just a bystander, like a, like a reward that I use maybe every now and then, you know, you know what I mean? So I, I basically gotta say, weed definitely did change my life for the better. But, um, that was all the questions for the Q and A. Uh, I really thank y'all for sliding up and just supporting the channel and asking the ch asking me questions. I'm always happy to, you know, give y'all give y'all some answers. You know, I love y'all. I love everyone that support my channel. It's helped me run up my views, my likes, my subscribers. Make sure y'all sub, sub and like this video so I can help me with the algorithm, bro. And we going up, road to 1K for sure. I promise you, we going up. All right, I love y'all for supporting my channel. I'll come again. Y'all be smooth. Have a great day. Love.